it blew up. It was like boom everywhere. Good morning. Welcome back to my vlog. It is early in the morning. Um, it is Sunday morning. Love Sunday mornings. It's always a fresh start to the week. Um, yesterday was the event that I talked about in um, in last week's vlog. Um, I fell asleep and did not wrap my hair. So I'm about to wrap it now just while I like clean up around the house. Ladies, this is why it is very important to have um, satin pillowcases. That way, for any reason, if you have to fall asleep and you can't tie your hair down, you don't completely destroy your hair. So, um, yeah, I did not wrap my hair, but I, my creases aren't too bad, you know? It's, it's not too bad. If I needed to go somewhere right now, I could, but I'm still gonna wrap it up because legit, my entire house needs to be cleaned. Um, I unfortunately don't have my tripod, so I have no way of like sitting you guys up and like doing like a, um, feeding it up and letting you guys see the transformation. Tripod is not even here, so that's not even a possibility. So, um, my boyfriend is going to come over either today or sometime this week so that we can pull my stove out so I can mop and clean that all up. Um, it's good to pull your stove and your fridge out every now and then and clean underneath it anyways. So might as well do that since I spilled milk and, um, yeah, already I have three bags of trash and I'm sure I will have more, but I just want to pop in and say happy Sunday. Welcome back to the vlog. I don't know what this week is going to bring, but if you roll in with me, you going to find out as I find out. I know that I do have an appointment with the dietitian on Monday. We'll see what her reaction is to my doctor taking me off of the diet that she recommended and putting me onto a new one. Um, when I left to go finish like planning, my hair was still wrapped and my wrap scarf is actually not with me. So little hack, I'm going to actually use a stocking. I'm going to use a stocking and wrap my hair, so, yeah. Ugh, I just, ugh. I hate dishes and I have plenty. So I'm gonna wrap my hair, then get to cleaning and I will update y'all. Deuces. Wanted to show you guys some stuff I got out of my FabFitFun. I'm not gonna show the whole box because I don't think people are really interested in that anymore, but I'm gonna show you guys the really expensive items that I got out of, this is all out of one box, so. Un momento. Like I said, it was so much in that box, but just some things that really stood out to me that I thought you guys should know, um, you know, are in the box in case you guys aren't interested. Um, so it was this little coach bag. I'm like, what is it? So here's the little booklet. And look at this. It's a little pendant, it has a little crystal, and then little flower earrings. And I don't know what this would normally retail for, but it is Coach, it's so freaking cute. And it's like this rose gold almost. So I was really excited to get this. Um, I'm going to use it because studs are, I love studs. This was in my summer box. This wasn't necessarily expensive, but, um, it, it is cool. So it's like an ice cube tray. So you fill this up with water and it becomes little pineapple ice cubes. I thought this was cool. A freaking Dutch oven. <laughs> A freaking Dutch oven in my Fab Fit Fun box. This literally is the cost of the box. So I'm like, hello, I needed one of these. 
and Dutch ovens are every time I see one they're extremely expensive and I just like that it is the same like effect as the bowls that I got from West Elm from Fat Fit Fun. I won't bore you with anything else but if you don't know what I mean by Fat Fit Fun um, I do have a couple of unboxings on my channel. Um, I took the cold out of my descriptions but hopefully editing Amber remembers to put the Fat Fit Fun code at the bottom of this video. Girl about to wash her Dutch oven okay. I cheated. I washed half the dishes Put the other half in the dishwasher. I haven't started it yet because I'm right in front of it. But I want to show you guys one other thing and see if you guys have heard of it. Fat Fit Fun also sent this to me too. I gotta watch this. So they sent me to try this little Heineken, right? But it is, it says 21 and over, but it says 0.0% alcohol, 100% taste. So I'm guessing it tastes like beer but it has no alcohol in it. So it says it's made with water, malted barley, hop extract, and natural flavor. Malt beverage with natural flavor. So I don't know why you have to be 21 and over if it says zero alcohol, because um, it seems like it has less alcohol than kombucha. In kombucha, you don't have to be 21 and over, I don't think. So yeah. Um, I'm going to put this in the fridge and at some point in this vlog, I'm going to try this and let you guys know how it is. I guess it's something new so that when you're like out at the bar, if you want to drink with your friends, your your beer can say Heineken too. So we'll see if it just tastes horrible because I don't think beer tastes that good. There are certain ciders that I think taste good, but not beers. So using the last of this Morningstar bacon. Morningstar now has made majority of their products completely vegan before they had like milk or egg in them, but they are slowly changing all of them. So you have to be careful because they still have some on the shelf that have the old ingredients, but all you have to do is check the back if you are completely plant-based. And yeah, the Morningstar bacon and the the breakfast patties, they're all really good too, but they are now 100% plant-based. So I had three pieces left. I'm making that right now. And then I'm going to use my just egg, my folded egg, and I'm going to make just like a little breakfast sandwich. Nothing major, nothing spectacular. Evidence that I cleaned. And there's still one more. Whew. So... That was several bags of trash. Whew, several bags of trash. And I know you're like, why are you putting it in your trunk? I'm putting it in my trunk because I'm gonna drive it to the trash. Because I was not about to make 75,000 trips to the trash can. All right, so I have to run to the store and I have to figure out what I'm gonna eat Oh, that reminds me. Appointment with my dietitian. And it's so crazy because I told her, you know, I was like, this is what my doctor said. This is, you know, I had headaches and I was, you know, waking up later and not waking up as early as I normally do. And, you know, my face broke out. She took all of that as being positive do you hear me she took all of that as being positive she's like oh well the reason why you had the headache is not because of the fish it's not because of the egg she's like it's because you dropped your carbs down she's like when you go from high carb which is what they consider the vegan diet high carb when you go from high carb to low carb, you do have a headache. She said, but you can fix it by taking a shot of pink Himalayan salt. She's like, so if you, it's because your body is purging all the sodium. You just take like half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, drink water in the morning. She goes, and then take the salt and your headache will go away. She's like, it's very common when you reduce your carbs and you're sleeping better 
you sleeping better is a part of you feeling better. And I'm like, how does me waking up at 11 versus me normally waking up at eight just mean that I'm sleeping better? Let me take these off so we can get real. So she's like, the whole headache thing will go away. She said, normally it takes about three weeks and you stop the egg and the salmon right at the three week mark, which is why your headache went away. It was just a coincidence that you stopped the egg and the salmon at the three week mark and the three week mark is when your headache goes away. And I'm just like, and she goes, and I understand where your doctor's coming from. Like they see this and they think, okay, you're having a reaction. She's like, but egg and salmon are really healthy. So I don't think that's it. And she's like, so what I want you to do is, I want you to um, said drop your carbs even more. So now 15 carbs for my dinner meal. And she's like, if you reduce your carbs like that and you don't have a headache, introduce the egg. She's like, if you get a headache before you introduce the egg, then we know it's the sodium. And I've told you what to do with the salt. She's like, if you get a headache after this week of being plant-based and lowering the carbs and you take the egg and get a headache, then we'll know it's the egg. But I'm like, well, what about the acne? And she's like, it's just the change in diet. And maybe you encountered dairy, which is possible because if you're getting eggs from a restaurant, a lot of the times they will add milk to spread it more to make it fluffier and just so to when you ask for two eggs it'll be like a whole plate with normally two eggs is like that so she's like if you got if you went out to eat it all or someone else prepared your eggs or your eggs came from a source that you didn't make that could mean that you ran into some dairy and that could be where the acne came from um she said but i don't think it would have come from the egg and the fish so i'm so torn guys like i like i told you i feel like half the world feels like animal protein low carb high fat is the way to go then you have the other half of the world that feels like plant-based is the way to go and i'm not just saying this but my primary doctor was just like I'm going to base it off of what has worked for you in the past and veganism worked for you in the past. He's like, I've never gotten any results to where I felt like you were lacking in protein or fat. He said, but if you need to increase protein or fat, that's avocados, that's nuts. You know, he's like protein wise, you know, that's beans, you know, all the stuff, all the stuff we know. He's like, so I just don't think that you have to do that with the animal products. So, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm, I'm really torn. It's like, and she said exactly what I said. She said, they're doctors, but they're not dietitians. So, part of that is like making me think like, okay, that's true. You're the dietitian, but I don't know. I don't know, y'all. So, I mean, y'all comment down below. Tell me what y'all think. What are y'all experiences? Because I I feel like people often, and plant-based can go wrong real quick. Like, you could be eating the wrong things. Hands down, I agree with her there. You could be eating a ton of processed food. You could be eating a ton of carbs. Plant-based don't mean healthy, but neither does eating animal product. Fried chicken is protein. Doesn't mean it's good for me, you know? So, like I said, I feel like all of this is just expanding from having that, but that could just be in my head. That could be inflammation. I Maybe I need to increase my turmeric. I don't know. Um, like I said, I know what's worked for me in the past. I know what eating animal product leads to, 
it's like you can't just go somewhere and say, hey, can I get a piece of salmon? They want to put butter on it. They want to put, you know, uh, all I mean, some type of dairy product. Like, it's not going to just be a straight grilled fish, which means maybe I approached it the wrong way because any fish I ate, I did not prepare myself. But most of the egg I ate, I did prepare for myself with the exception of, like, one or two times I ordered something and it came with eggs. But maybe I approached it wrong. Maybe I need to be not ordering my salmon from a healthy restaurant. Maybe I should have been making my own salmon because I don't know if there's this farm raised or wild. I prefer wild. Maybe I cannot, when I go out to eat, I cannot do eggs even if it's breakfast because I don't know where their eggs are coming from or if they're adding dairy to it. I think I just have to, I don't know y'all. I'm gonna I'm do it her way. I'm gonna try for a week and see if I have a headache. I have no headache today, no headache. But I'm done rambling y'all. I just wanted to give y'all an update because I know I mentioned um, before I started cleaning that I had a 10 o'clock Zoom appointment. So that's how it went. Um, I'm going to go grab a couple of things. I will check you later. I just came out of Walgreens. And I got these. These are, uh, they're not plant-based, but they don't have any milk in them. If that means anything. Um, so... Wait, did it change? They changed the recipe. Okay, so these used to not have any milk in them. And now it does. So, um, I got these. And then I got these. No, no sugar added. Dark chocolate almonds. Just because dark chocolate is actually good for you. And then I got a pair of stockings because... I actually prefer to wrap my hair with a pair of stockings. It's real old school, but it keeps your hair the best shape. And it also helps with my hair because my hair gets really greasy. So it helps to pull out some of the grease. Um, so I was in freaking Walgreens and it was an older gentleman who, when I first pulled up, he was walking up and he was limping. He had a cane, he was walking slow. So, um, I proceeded, right? And then I got these items out of Walgreens and then I went to go pick up my prescriptions and he was already there in line. So he got his little stuff, whatever. He goes to walk away. It's like two other people standing there, two other people in between me and him. He walks, they hand him his change. All of his change falls on the ground. And so he already has a cane and he can't bend like that, right? And so he looks down at it and he's just like, oh, it's okay. And he keeps walking. Everybody seemed to be okay with that. I said, oh, wait, wait, hold on, sir. And I bent down and I picked up the change. And I was like, this is all that I could see. Do you see any anywhere else? And he's like, no, no, that, that was it. That was all the change, which I didn't believe him. I just felt like. He didn't really want me looking and digging for all his change, but it's like, I can't believe, and it was people like younger, healthier, and not obese, just standing there like, y'all can't stop for two seconds and pick up this man's change that he drops. Like, it's just, man, I just, the times that we are in right now and how people just don't. I don't know. I just wasn't raised that way. I just, I couldn't, I would hate for like an elderly family member of mine to be alone anywhere in this freaking world because people just do not care. Just do not care. Like I was looking for his change the minute he dropped it. Everybody else tried to pretend like they didn't hear it or see. By the way, if you've never gotten these, they're so good. My sister, like, orders them by the box and gets them delivered to the house, which is probably way cheaper than buying it in the store. I may do that, but it's just cranberries, nuts. Just trying to work on my protein. So, right now, I have to figure out what to eat. All right, guys, well, 
that's the end of my rambling and the end of my snacking. I'll see y'all at home and let y'all know what I picked up. <sighs> All right, y'all. We are back home. I ended up going to Flame Broiler. Um, they have like veggie bowls. So basically, I don't know if you could see. I don't want it to drip, but it's brown rice, mostly vegetables. Um, tofu and then just the avocado. I don't know if you could see the avocado at the top. Um, right now it's like 7 15. I'm like 15 minutes past fasting time, but hey, it happens, right? It happens. I'm so happy I got all that trash out the way. Um, I have like two more bags of trash. And some like Amazon boxes that I have to break down. I did my table for fall, which I'm actually going to show you guys. I'm going to show you that now. So this is one of the centerpieces that I made. Um, I'm going to use it because I am really pleased with myself. And I just put my little salt shakers there, but I don't know that they're going to stay there. Uh, my boyfriend likes to collect vintage things and so do I. So he gave me like this original Aunt Jemima's syrup bottle that I like to keep on my table. Um, and then I just have these goldish um, things and like these rustic gold plates, gold matting, lace covering. So just, just all the fall things, all the fall things. So I'm not sure exactly. Um, and then these coasters I had just bought, but they don't really go with my fall. I have fall coasters. So I'll probably swap those out and I may honestly make more changes, but I just wanted to like get something out that was fall. So um, this is where we're starting. Hey guys, so we're in the middle of the day. Your girl's been busy. Um, I filmed three videos. I just want to check in with you guys. Need to clean or anything. I kind of slept in. <sighs> I'm so tired of sleeping in. I feel like I lose the majority of my day. Like right now it's two o'clock. What ifs? What ifs? My energy has just been really low. I mean, you talk about somebody being ran low. I'm just ran low. <laughs> I'm tired. And I'm always tired, but um, because of the low drop I have in energy, but maybe it's because I haven't been working out too. So I think I will tap into going back to my workouts or just being active and then making sure that I go outside into the sun for at least 45 minutes a day. Today was a success. We were, I was out in the sun and you know, sun was beaming on me and I guess I'll let it beam on me a little now while I go to where I'm going. But all right guys, smell you later. Guys, long time no see. I've been trying to get my life together. Um. So I think what we're gonna do this morning is I'm gonna make breakfast because that's what I always do. Um, first of all, I have to check to make sure I can even break fast right now because I might be like 30 minutes early, but it takes me like 30 minutes to make my breakfast. Anyway, and I'm also planning a video and I need to kind of pack all of that together and organize everything so I'll know so that the filming is just like smooth um whenever I do videos where I'm changing a lot of outfits I have to prep that like two days before I film it so one day of just getting the clothes together then another day of you know taking everything laying it out making sure I have all the accessories and everything to go with everything, trying it on, making sure it's the look that I want. So that is what I'm gonna do because I'm thinking more than likely I want to film that video um, 
I want to film that video this weekend. So, y'all, I don't know if you guys, well, I hope, because you're watching me, if you guys actively watch YouTube. So, weird thing about me is the YouTube that I watch is mainly like vlogs. And I watch a couple of other YouTubers and I watch tech channels. Because if you guys don't know, I'm really into technology and I'm really into cars. So, with that being said, y'all, my boo, Ami, got hemmed up. If y'all don't know who he is, he is another YouTuber and he rich. No, excuse me. He wealthy, okay? Um, he's been around, I want to say like a maybe two years a year and a half he ain't been around that long but he came onto youtube like boom and he just blew up because every day he was buying new cars houses i mean you could just tell he had money money not like not like pretend but he had like money money so he used to get a lot of hate in the comments of people being like oh i looked you up your father is a criminal that's where your money comes from but actually, he had created an app, a streaming app, and he ended up selling it for like over $30 million. And that's where his money came from. He also has like a clothing line, like all types of different stuff. Well, of course, because of how the internet works, people started saying, well, he probably didn't pay no taxes. So he ended up getting in trouble first for tax reasons, from my understanding. And then it went into them saying, okay, well you got this money through this streaming app, which is illegal. So then they started seizing all his stuff. Like they literally just swooped in, took all his property. They took a whole house, if I'm not mistaken. And he was sad. He was depressed. But I think it wasn't necessarily about the money. It was more so about the accusations and everything. But it's like he didn't miss a beat. Like he immediately came back because his channel is called Ami and the Hellcat because he likes Hellcats. Bought him another Hellcat. Like, y'all can keep that one y'all sees. Like, he just was on his grind. You know, had a giveaway. Giving away a house to people. Giving away a brand new um, Charger Hellcat to people. So, he just kept it going, right? So, I always watch him because I'm just like, dang. Like, he did not let that knock him down. And it's good to see another, like, black person be up like that, right? So when he got arrested today, it's like we all knew. Like if you watch his channel, like we knew. He kept telling us like any day now I'm they're gonna charge or they charge me any day now. So we all kind of knew what was coming. But it's just like dang. I feel like getting one of them shirts that say free on me, but I'm sure he'll be out like in no time. But I do gotta say this. He fine. Like and it ain't the money. It's just, I don't know. You know what? I think my whole life I always got like really, really skinny, athletic men. And it's like Amber don't discriminate. You know? You feel me? But yeah, I was talking to my sister because it literally like just happened. And I was like, I'll be fine though. I said, and the secret is he got a brother that looked just like him that's skinny. So it's like, I told her I'd be like, I'd take it any way I can get it if I was single. Like, fat, skinny, like, I see what you would look like skinny. I see what you look like big. I'm okay with either. Both fine. So yeah, if you guys have not checked out his channel, he don't need me sending no um, referrals over to him. But um, it's just interesting. If you have ever, like, been knocked down or had something taken from you or just been like, how, how or why is this happening? It's a good channel to watch only because you see him just like, he literally shows you. This is, they took everything. He literally tells you, this is what my case is about. You know, like, he's very open. So a lot of people would not have been that open about a situation like that. But... I, I'm sorry. I, I feel like he was targeted. Like, so you just randomly just thought of this one dude and was like, 
hmm, let's check to see if the asset you sold was legal. Like, I, I highly doubt. I think, like, YouTube brought the attention originally, and then they were just like, dang, where's this guy getting this money from? And they looked him up. They saw that his father had a past, and they wondered. They saw that he had been to jail before, so they probably started wondering, like, I wonder if we could find anything illegal. But dude had a full CPA that was paying taxes for him. And I mean, it's just crazy. But I'm not going to spoil anything for you. If you're interested, just go check it out. Um, I know I popped it on the screen, but I will list it down below. But yeah, I got to get my day moving regardless. If I go to Trader Joe's, I will take you guys in there with me because they have all this crazy fall stuff that I've been seeing all across YouTube. And a lot of it look like it's vegan. So I'll be the test. I'll go up in there and see, like, what you got that's vegan up in here, Trader Joe's, because I'm trying to get my pumpkin spice fall cinnamon life going. All right, guys, check in with you. So, guys, I am, this is that same brand um, as the eggs that I bought. This one is already hard-boiled. And I like check just to make sure that it wasn't like high in sodium or that it didn't have like anything um, in it to make it not 100% what it needs to be. So these are still pasture raised, um, grass fed, all that stuff. Um, and the only thing that's been added to it is citric acid to help maintain the freshness. So it came with six already hard-boiled eggs. Listen, <clears throat> it says do not microwave on the bag. I just want to be clear, okay? Because all of my friends and family like to clown and tease me because when I first moved into my house, I also had a new job. And... I was rushing and I was like, you know what? This is just going to make my life easier. Having an already boiled egg, warm it up, take it, good to go, right? I put the egg in the microwave, pulled it out. Everything was fine. It was like, it was like really like sizzling and doing all that. I went to cut it in half because I cut my hard boiled eggs in half, put a little butter and a little bit of pepper. If you don't do that, try it. Soon as I placed the knife on the egg and pierced the first layer, it blew up. It was like boom everywhere. It was such a hard explosion that it literally, you could hear it all outside. It was like, boom! It was literally an explosion. It flew, slapped me in the face. Good thing I had glasses on or my eyeballs would have been damaged. There was egg everywhere. I'm talking about cabinets, ceiling, floor, behind the stove, all across my clothes. I was dressed for work. I was just like, wait, why couldn't, What? how did this happen? And everybody's like, you don't know that you can't boil eggs? Hold on. So yeah, people are like, you don't know that you can't boil eggs? Like, oh my gosh. And just laughing at me. And I'm like, okay. My mom never taught me that very fun fact that you cannot put boiled eggs in the microwave or they will explode. First of all, I had to call in to work and tell them I was going to be like an hour and a half late because your girl literally had to wash her hair, wash her face, everything clean up the whole entire kitchen. We had to pull my stove up so I can get like all the egg and stuff. I was so, and then my boyfriend makes it worse by all day texting me. I hope you have an egg explosive day. Or, I mean, everything had the word egg in front. You're, you look very egg extravagant. I mean, just like for, at least a week with the egg puns. Still to this day, we can't have a conversation 
where I mentioned eggs and he not laugh. Like, he's either laughing about me tripping or that one time that I tripped, if you guys have seen my story times, or he's laughing about the egg. So, I just wanted to show y'all that I've learned my lesson and I found a new way because I don't like cold hard-boiled eggs. I put hot water in here for my Keurig. Then I put the eggs inside the hot water and covered it with foil so that the hot water can warm up the egg. But I just want to thank this brand for putting on the back, do not microwave. Okay? Do not microwave.